I think it's time to move into our last topic. Last topic. And this one we're going to have to bring up quick because there's some information for this. So as we were getting topics ready for this, Nintendo updated their online oh, website. Actually, second to last topic. Second to last topic. Oh, yeah. No, no. Yeah. We'll, we'll talk about that, that topic at the end. Um, so Nintendo updated their online their, their 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 switch online website um talking about their online services we learned a few things mm-hmm. number one the most important thing that people want well, obviously features are the most important but mm-hmm. but people want to know what, what this thing's going to cost right we now have pricing okay it's going to be 399 for one month 799 for three 1999 for a year mm-hmm so that's right in line with the pricing we were talking about way back when, when they had that, that thing come out of Japan where people speculated if that was going to be the real pricing or not. Right. Um, 20 bucks for a year. That's cheap. Yeah. Isn't that roughly what the other two cost? Oh, 60 bucks. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What They're are like, you talking about? They're like, it's been a long time since I've purchased <laughs> Since you had Xbox, Xbox Live. Live. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. a long yeah. time. Yeah. I mean, their monthly pricing is almost cheaper than that. So yeah, um, 20 bucks for a year. Yeah. What did we talk about before? A couple bucks a month, baby. Yeah. Uh, for an average there, obviously, you know, it's more expensive if you only get the three months or the one month. That, that's just a typical. Well, yeah, they, want, yeah. they want you to grab Fireball. the year. They yeah. want you to grab the year. Um, so cheap, 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 which for some people will change expectations of what they're going to get out of this online system. Mm-hmm. For me personally, I don't think it should change expectations at all. I no. think that $20 price point or this, this cheap price point should be because Nintendo needs to prove themselves. Right, they can't come out and charge fifteen bucks a month and have a crappy yeah. stuff. Yeah. So like, it, it's kind of one of those things. Like, I don't expect less. I think this is. I think Nintendo needs to actually improve. They know what they're doing. Yeah. Um, and at that price point, it gives me confidence to at least invest in the first year to see if they know what they're doing. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um. So here's what here's what you kind of get with it. Um. For starters. The online has been the paid online has been delayed to 2018. So for the entirety of this year, whenever they decide to launch it, all the stuff's going to be free in 20 in 2017. Okay. Basically, the only thing that's going to be really free is is the, the online the app and the online voice chat stuff. I don't think they're going to release the the games and all that stuff before then. But you do need to pay to get your online gameplay. They did say that. So sounds like it won't be optional for third party or Nintendo games. Mm-hmm. You have to pay to play to play online, um, which again, that's that's basically that's that's the hook. That's how Xbox Live and PlayStation get you. Most of the games you need to have that subscription to even play the game online. Forget voice right. chat; right. you can't play online matches without it. So yeah, that's how they're gonna hook yeah. you. Yeah. And, yeah. and for that cheap, I mean, that's not that bad. It sucks because Nintendo hasn't had it. It feels like why would I pay to have what I got for free on Wii U? But Again, understandable. Nintendo's I making guess. money. Everyone else does it. At least they're cheaper, I guess. Yeah, definitely. But obviously, you're not just getting online gameplay. As just like all other subscription services, there's more things. Um, there'll be the uh, they, they call it specifically the online lobby and voice chat app. Again, so you get your phone. Apparently, you have to subscribe to even use it. Okay. Again, this is the whole voice chat's behind it too. Yeah. Basically, anything online is behind it. The classic game selection. This is what they talked about before, mm-hmm. where they were going to offer like a game a month or so, and they might offer like some multiplayer with it, and then it might change it in the month. Or they they didn't release a lot of detail. They just kind of hinted at, at concepts for it. Yeah. Um. So that that's, that's the classic game selection that you have to pay to have that. Um, it'd be very interesting that classic game selection turned into the virtual console. Yeah. If this includes a virtual console sub- subscription in that price, oh, oh right, oh baby, I doubt I'm good. It. But I'm good. Oh, baby. That, that would be You happy. never know. You never know. We don't know. The thing is, it does not need a lot of details here. Right. Um, and here's one that's interesting. Nintendo eShop deals. So it's, I assume this means they're sales. They've had them in the past on Wii U and 3DS. Sales and everything. Oh, and they do, they do mention that, like, this doesn't affect Wii U and 3DS at all. So, like, if there's eShop deals on Wii U and 3DS, you don't have to pay for any of that. Like, none, none of this. This is just for Nintendo Switch. Yeah. And I'm assuming all future Nintendo devices. Right. Um, not like future 3DS devices, like actual new hardware devices. Yes. Um, so, yeah, eShop deals. Sales, fire sales, discounts, blah, blah, blah. Mm-hmm. Um, and in the, in the thing they note, there are if you don't pay, you do not get eShop 
deals, which means to me, sorry, if you don't pay, you're not getting sales and you shop. Oh, you might get sales, but you might not get the same sales as yeah, maybe. Else. I don't know. Yeah, you might get yeah. more sales if you're a member, or you get different, better games that are on sale, or maybe you get a five percent more discount, or, or something. you just get no sales, or you just get no sales. <laughs> I mean, that is a. I mean, I mean, again, assumptions. Right. We, we, I don't know. Yeah. People like money, so like, say, like shovel that's a dude. We want to we want to temporarily knock our game down to two bucks. But we want to do it for everyone. We don't want to just do it for your, you know, whatchamacallit thing. We're not an online game. We don't care about your mm-hmm. online service. Is Nintendo really going to say no? Right. Or they might just say, well, you can. Just don't call it a sale. Just reduce the price of your game and then raise it. <laughs> Which looks really shady yeah. for them. So, anyways, we don't know. Again, assumption. We don't know enough to know what this means. Just some sort. There's going to be some sort of deals exclusive. Maybe all deals are exclusive. Maybe not. We don't know. Mm-hmm. So... Based on this little bit of information, did they do enough? I think for their first endeavor, yeah. For online stuff, definitely. I think it's. Um, I, I would like to see again what the what the virtual console comes out and ends up being, but that's a guess. I don't know whether it's included in this or not. What's the thing for for Xbox and Sony? Their subscription for their classic games is separate. Oh, okay. So it's like ten dollars in addition to your Xbox Live. Right. And I don't even know if you need Xbox Live to even X. I think if you just pay the ten dollars, you can just. Well, and what the difference between the Xbox One and the PlayStation is all streaming. Mm-hmm. You stream the games from like a, a server. Um, Xbox lets you download the games, mm-hmm. which is really cool. Mm-hmm. And Xbox also gives you discounts. Like if you want to cancel your subscription but keep a game, they give you a discount to keep the game. Right. Off the regular price, which right. is kind of cool. Yes. Because um, if you're just subscribing and you just keep playing one game, it might not be worth it to like keep your subscription going just to play one game. Right, definitely. Um, I don't need to see that phone for the rest. So I think they I think they got the pricing right. Mm-hmm. I think everything else I'm on hold. Mm-hmm. I, I Because like I don't view – some of the things I don't really view as features, like holding hostage online multiplayer gameplay behind the wall – I've never viewed that as good. When Xbox did that way back when the Xbox launched, I hated it. Mm-hmm. When PlayStation hopped on board, I hated it. And I'm going to hate it now that Nintendo hopped on board because it's just, it's an excuse to give us something that's always been free. Now it's not. And they'll be like, yeah, but you also get all this other stuff. Yeah, but if you don't care about any of the other stuff, all you want to do is play your Mario Kart 8 online, play your Splatoon online, play your ARMS online, play your Call of Duty online. All you want to do is play an online game. I got I to gotta pay money when... I could go on my PC and play any online game I want without paying extra money. So I can already play Mario Kart 8 online. For, yeah, for yeah, you can actually already can. Yeah, and Wii U. Yeah. And so it's kind of like, I, I've never liked the idea of holding hostage. I understand why they do it. Mm-hmm. I, I, I just don't agree with it. I think if their online service was enticing enough on its own, it shouldn't need that. It shouldn't need that specific thing held behind it. Um, you can hold the voice chat back if you want. Fine. Not just because I think the voice chat sucks. Just in general, if you want to hold that back because it costs you money to run run the voice servers and this and that, fine, fine, whatever. Mm-hmm. You can still offer the ability to play online games. You just get a better online experience if you add the service. But yeah. anyways, this is a thing I have. This isn't just Nintendo. I have this issue in general. Yes. Um, people already have to pay for access to the internet in the first place. For most people have to. I know some people get it free. But most people have to pay for access to the internet in the first place. And they got to pay for the equipment that lets them access it. Now I got to pay extra access to access the internet to access my game. Yes. That uses the internet. Yes. When on PC, you just buy the game and you play. Right. Um, so right. again. Yes. Um, Score one for PC. Yeah. Well, it's, it's not true of all games. Like World of Warcraft subscription fees, they, they exist. But um, it's far and few between. There's not a lot of games that do that on PC. So I don't like that. I, I don't think that's a benefit that makes it worth it. But for twenty bucks, heck, I, to be fair, I don't even think the voice chat should really be behind it. I don't think any of that is a premium thing that people should have to pay for. When there's so many ways to do it for free mm-hmm. elsewhere, mm-hmm. so I don't view that. So, so, so I eliminate that from the equation. That I think for twenty bucks a year, is a classic game at least one a month or more, plus discounts, essentially, mm-hmm. worth it. Discount wise, I gotta see what they are. If they're only offering like five percent off now and then, that's not a big deal. They offer like fire sales. 
for limited time only, you can get Breath of the Wild for twenty bucks. Okay, great. That's awesome. That is, yeah. But you know, I don't know what it is. But uh, to me, the classic game, I think, is worth it. Just for the twenty bucks, you think about what virtual console games cost. You know, say you get twelve games, and they decide to let you keep those twelve games after you play them, not even for a discount, just for free. They, they, they. I know before they were talking about that, and you possibly buy them for a discount after that month. Well, yeah. they let you just keep them, and mm-hmm. if you want to, you get to purchase them to say to keep that multiplayer aspect. They might add to it or whatever mm-hmm. that they they hinted at before. Um, fine, but if people don't care about that and they just want to have the game, if they just let you keep this the base game for free. Um, or I shouldn't say for free, as long as you're subscribed, mm-hmm. um, then that twenty dollars becomes worth it because now I'm not just trying twelve games; I get to keep playing those twelve games, and the library of that will just keep growing if it's like a game a month. Mm-hmm. So twenty bucks, I get twelve games, even classics. That's mm-hmm. a really sweet deal. Yeah, um, that alone to me would be worth it. Mm-hmm. Then you throw on some sales on top, great. The rest of it, I, I again, I don't think people should have to pay for it in the first place. But it, well, I, they. Basically, the game thing enough, the pricing plus the game, the free game stuff, is enough for me to at least buy in year one. Right. I will buy the the 1999 oh, yeah, January sure. 1st or whenever they yeah. launch it, and then we'll see. Mm-hmm. They have a they, then they'll have a year for me to prove that the game thing is better than it looks like, uh, and that it's worth paying for now. Obviously, at the end of the day, if I want to play online games, I'm going to get it anyways. And I, that's the whole point of, of, of putting that behind the paywall. Yes. Because they're going to force me to have to buy it anyways. And mm-hmm. I know that. Yeah. But I still don't view that as a value proposition. No. That, I view that as holding something hostage um, and begrudgingly I'm going to give you money to access it. Yes. And thankfully, that begrudgingly is a hell of a lot cheaper than everyone else. Yes. If anything, I'm hoping that this pricing range makes Xbox and Microsoft be like, okay, we can't charge sixty anymore. We have to cut that down. Yeah, right. We have to cut that in half. They're not going to. No, probably not. But oh, they got their fanboys. They can they can charge sixty still. <laughs> oh God, don't talk about fanboys. So yeah, I'm 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 cool. I'm I'm okay with it for now. I, again, uh, to me, it's it's their first foray into it, so the pricing, the price to what you get is is. Good. Yeah, like it's good for now, just mainly because of the games and probably the discounts too. But mm-hmm. again, it's one of those we need to see it again. E three, that's the time to talk about this because it's supposed to be at least the app is supposed to be launching sometime this summer supposedly. So um, I'm assuming it'll launch high Splatoon since right. maybe even yeah. before that, maybe they'll launch yeah. it with arms and just arms just in the voice chat for some reason. Yeah, but maybe yeah. you can organize lobbies and like play with your friends and stuff. Yeah, I know. 